dissolves. <laughs>give you million subscriber content for only 200 views. Okay, so yes, I had a one night stand last night, and I know a lot of guys out there are gonna be like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, getting your dick wet, oh, fuck yeah, it's fucking awesome, getting some goddamn pussy. And that's cool, that's, that's awesome, but let's just put this into perspective. I'm gonna be 30 in a couple months now. The old 22, 23, to anything 25 and below, me would be like, fuck yeah, I will drive to fucking Wisconsin to get pussy at 2 a.m. And keep in mind, I don't do one night stands. I haven't done them for, I won't say that, but I just don't do them. I, I remember every time I do it, I feel like shit. Not like shit, but it's not fulfilling at all, fucking someone you don't care about. It might be just the pussy version of me saying that, but I really mean that. You know, I, I went over there, keep in mind this girl's really nice, and the reason I feel so bad is because she really likes me. Like, actually really likes me, and she had never even met me before. Just through text, she's like sending me like love quotes and shit, and that alone should have been a fucking red flag that this girl is... She falls really fast, very sweet girl. I remember one time I just said, hey, how's your day going? And she was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. You're so cute for asking that. I wanna at least like work here. I, I don't wanna have it be like me being like, how was your day? And her being like, let me spread my legs and just fuck me right now. Um, <laughs> this video sucks already. Whatever, hey, I'm being open and honest. I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm being vulnerable. Embrace it, you fucking douchebag. So I went over there and we were watching Atypical, which by the way, amazing show. Go ahead and watch it, it's fucking awesome. And things get into it and whatever, and uh, afterwards we're cuddling, and I realized that it's hard to cuddle with someone you don't really know or love or care about. But me being the caring, masochistic douchebag self, I end up cuddling and didn't get any fucking sleep last night. Oh, poor me. Oh, I didn't get any sleep because I got pussy. Oh. But really though, like, I, the worst is having to cuddle and care for someone. Have a good day, Josh. Love you! Okay, the worst thing is like cuddling with someone and they're laying on your arm and your arm's going numb and, and you just have to sit there and just think like, okay, I might have to get my arm amputated and that's okay because at least this poor girl will feel cared for and not like used. I, I don't know, I'm just a fucking ass. I feel like a fucking asshole, dude. And You know, sex is a cool thing. I like sex. Everybody loves sex. But the older I get, I realize that I'm so guarded and it's hard for me to, uh, it's hard for me to, to care about people in a way where it's like, or love new people. I love the people that are already existing in my life, but it's hard for me to pretend like I, I have this like pseudo love for someone that I just met and have been texting for like a week and then we just fucked, and then it's like, it, it's artificial, it, it's not real, and this poor girl, I don't know, I feel like a fucking asshole, I'm not fulfilled, I got pussy, and then I did the drive home, which was a fucking 35 minute drive. Where, what I'm going with this is that I'm guarded, and that the people that I love and care for, my arm, I will gladly make my arm leg, whatever, go numb all night for days on end just to be next to that person. And I will be sweaty and uncomfortable just to cuddle that person and I will love every second of it. This is the cheesiest thing I've ever said, but I mean it wholeheartedly. When I am with someone and I love them to death and like I care for them and I, I love them more than I love myself, I will 
do whatever. And I don't know if that's that's sad or pathetic, but really though, and, and um, I don't know, it's hard to find those people these days that I actually would do that for, and that would do that for me, and it's kind of depressing, and I'm still searching, and I feel like, you know, it's been a while since Nicole and I dated, and I'm still looking for that next person. I'm not even looking, I guess I'm just waiting. I'm not like outwardly, you know, searching high and low for this next person. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just had to be real with you guys for a second, okay? Deal with it. Uh, we're going to get some vitamin C. Back to our normal shit show of a goddamn vlog. Let's do, um, let's do a time lapse. Fuck you guys. Okay, you know what I realized that I also need? is uh, a, a double-sided Velcro for my fucking camera. Every time I put it up here to time-lapse, I have to hold it, because it's gonna, eh, it doesn't matter. We're going into Target, fuck you. Thought instead of going to Walgreens, I'm gonna bring you guys to Target, change it up a little bit. This is so fucking lit. It's like my second home. I fucking love this place. And it's so quiet right now. You'd think on a Sunday it'd be like bumping with middle-aged soccer moms, but nope. Not today. Let's try it. Yoink. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. Just two things for you? Yeah, I don't need a bag. Oh, oh well, six, six, eight, sixty-one total. Yeah. Okay. Nice camera, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And here is the receipt. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a good time. Yeah, you too. I would one night stand the fuck out of my cashier right now. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I know for a fact my roommates can have one night stands and it's not a big deal. I know for a fact a lot of people can, girls and guys. But for me, I just, I need something there. I can't, like I can go and fuck whatever random girls that I find on Tinder or meet in public, whatever, but it's just not fulfilling to me. That's it. Call me a pussy whatever you want to call me, but it just isn't really... It, blah, 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 blah. it just doesn't really do anything for me. It just feels like, uh, it's like masturbating. Like, I don't feel anything after. I don't feel like a sense of like, ah, oh, hell yeah. It's just like I fucked a person. There's no love there. It's just this fake thing because you're missing something that's real. God, I say some good quotables that I feel like I should write a goddamn book. I'm gonna go home now, I'm gonna prep some food, have some goddamn protein, I need to work out. I keep telling myself, ever since this morning when I got home, I'm gonna work out, but instead, I got on YouTube and started watching mockumentaries. I don't know, let's see if this fucking Velcro works. How do you feel about one night stands? Are you able to do it like with a clear conscience? I love one night stands. Why? So much. Why? I was gonna say like, then I don't have to get to know them. <laughs> I only have to cuddle with them once. I can do whatever I want because I never have to see them again. That's I mean, true. It depends. It yeah. depends on the girl. Yeah. If she's really awesome, then it's like, no, I want more. I'll love her. 
Diana? No. Yeah. What? Dude, she's cool as fuck. I have commitment issues, okay? Okay? I know you do. Yeah, dude. You should be in love with her. She's cool as fuck, dude. Yeah. And the fact that she puts up a V-Saint. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty high. I've been eating a lot of food, so I'm probably going to be, like, falling asleep here. But you can come over, I guess. <laughs> You said that? Yeah. You said that yesterday too. Last night. I was just like, what in God's, who are you? Dude, when we were grocery shopping and, and we were getting food and stuff, and then she came out, she's like, I brought hummus. Did you get me anything? And I was like, no. Or you said something, I was like, dude, you didn't even think of her when you went grocery shopping. She said she was going to bring over her own food. That's her being like, I'm going to bring over my own food, but it'd be cool if you could just get me a little something, show that you care. Every time I've, I've talked to you about what, what do you think about doing? I think about going out to eat food. Something else, Al. Pick something else. You gotta keep something I went fresh. tubing. I did go tubing. That's pretty good. You gotta go rock climbing Whose next. idea? Hers or yours? It was a combined effort. Who really brought it up? She brought it up that day. But she knew I wanted to go tubing. And you probably went like this. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we can. I think we're just jealous that you have something going on. I just don't want you to fuck it up. Seriously. Me. You said you didn't want this just to turn into something about sex. Is this thing recording right now? Yeah. I thought so. I was talking about Alec and his view on uh, one, one Night Stands. Oh. Sex with random women. Ben, what's your view? Uh, Is it fulfilling? No, not really. Yeah. Because you have to go through that initial stage of what are you down for? Oh, we're just gonna have like I guess you have to set the boundaries. Weird sex right away, unless the, you talk to the chick throughout the day, night, or so, and then you figure out what is good and what's not. But that that can easily break a deal. Right yeah. There. Like, oh, wow, this guy's really pursuing real hard for yeah. Something. What about like you don't even discuss it, but you know why you're both there. Like last night I went and it was like. I went at like 10, 10 30. It's like, I'm, we know why I'm there. Sleeping there. It's kind of like unspoken bond of like. I lost my virginity to a one night stand. Oh, really? Yeah. I lost mm. my virginity to a girl I wasn't dating. You edgy fucks. It's same here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? And then I left out the window. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> I, you did. I did. I'm not joking. That's sick. And then I walked home. <laughs> That, that is like literally a definition of walk of shame. Alec wants a girl that's totally fine with having her tits out at like parties and shit. Yeah, why not? No, I I had a girl like that. Who? I don't want to say her name because she watches my videos. Well, whisper it to me. Oh, really? Yeah, and yeah. it sucks. It's like attention seeking, and then all guys get all thirsty. She was just hanging out with her tits out. Like she pulled it out to try and get my attention, but then every thirsty nerdy guy there was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. you don't want that. I'm not even joking. What? Then you get to be like, yeah, I'm taking that home. What no, you, you want it to brag to other guys. Alex got his heart broken so many times with girls that he's tried with, but then they end up not liking him. And now he plays it off like, oh, I fucking love sluts. I do, though. Would you ever date a slut? I have. Who? Tara. Okay, here's one thing I realized. I just can't do one night stands. It's way too much work. And I, I, what I mean by work is like, yeah, it's easy pussy, but emotionally involved. And you gotta, I don't know, unless you make a deal where it's like, you both know what you're doing and it is what it is. But then one side gets hurt and the other one doesn't. And it's just fucking dumb. Um, I just can't do it myself. I can, but it's just draining. <clears throat> I don't know what that says about me, but... It's just not my cup of tea. I understand if you're going through like talking on the camera. Give me the fucking directions to making holiday sauce. I know you took. I didn't take the directions. Give me the directions. Are you kidding? No, they don't just get up and walk away. What I'm speaking from the heart right now, and you're ruining my goddamn mo. All right, you know what? That's what video editing. Watch. Is. Let's go get your fucking directions, you pussy. You're an idiot. Why'd you throw them away? I didn't throw, them, Why'd away? You throw them away. Why would I throw it away? You're an idiot. You're trying to sabotage my fucking ex Benny. Your dog is trying to sabotage you. Go ahead and go back to my room and give this heart to heart. Anyways, uh, I understand if you're going through like a breakup 
and a, a one night stand just feels good. But for me, when I like when Nicole and I broke up and I did like a few one night stands, it just left me feeling empty. I don't know if that's like the emotional fucking cunty side of me where it's like, oh, poor me, I'm hurting this girl and I'm not getting anything out of it besides pussy, but I just want something fulfilling. I don't know. That might sound crazy and I just don't get anything fulfilling out of uh, a one night stand. Don't get me wrong, there are nights where I'm just like, fuck it, I need some fucking pussy. And then I look at my hand and I'm like, god, you're beautiful. I'm just angry masturbate, get it over with. Like I said, million subscriber content for just 200 views. You're welcome. Yeah. I mean, no. I'm like sweating details at this point. It's good though. Hey. Lungs like smokestacks, young black terror attack Hair on their neck raised, scaring them back Keeping my Kerouac first rate, they in the first grade Begging like babies, gimme, gimme, why? We too dirty, man, shimmy, shimmy, y'all Skinny bars, nah, all sets, no penny jar Snub a star, celebrity fed, no meals worth mentioning All unsettling, nihilist, anarchist, mindset reddening Need what? Fuck meds, all dead, everything These cats on that, all hell, petty things Ready with the cheap, I'ma beat them in their sleep As soon as the door open, they hitting the flow Hoping to get to the front row My shows are so lightning uh, Wherever we go, the team steadily grows Man, who knows, they figure we do it right But no one gives a fuck about shit So fuck your shit, we fuck shit up Cause shit's fucked anyway Shit is running to the ground I don't wanna think about it, I just wanna get down Get down, get down Until we come up